Hello, ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is Salt, a game by Lava Boots, just out of early access. And currently, I am just hanging out in the middle of the ocean here, doing a little fishing. And when you first start the game, because it is, of course, a survival game, build as you go, you start out with nothing, and you build yourself a little raft. And once you have said raft, you start going to various islands and picking up various things. Oh, caught a herring. Cool. Of course, that is food. It is survival, and you do need to eat. Ooh, let's take one of the good ones. Oh, I'm full too. Holy cow. That's not at so as you're going along, you just basically build things, build, 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 and then as you go onto these islands, you fight various types of pirates, various levels of pirates, spiders at night, and various little mini bosses they have here and there, and you get all kinds of cool stuff. See here, and of course it is RPG-like, so you know, we've got our ring here that's got poison resistance so this is a good one for fighting spiders cultist pants leather helm all kinds of good stuff here you also have all kinds of different weapons as you can see and this is us over here and we are 73 for our health food's not too bad strength is really the only one besides stamina that they do. Of course, crit chance, crit power, health regen, adornments, uh, armor 39. And that's about it. Now, the cool thing about this game is as you're going and building this stuff, you can do multiplayer. So you can invite your friends so you guys can all play. And then you can, of course, once you get better ships than the pirate ship, this one's the easiest big ship to get. Um, once you get all those done, you guys can then have war. You can build cannons because I have some cannonballs, so I would assume there's cannons somewhere in here, just haven't got that far. But the simple fact it does take a while to accomplish anything because, again, you've got to build everything from scratch. So, and of course, the way they have it set up, you have to kill pirate bosses to get plans and parts to some of the bigger ships. When you do kill them, and you kill all the pirates on the island, Things will, uh, a chest will unlock, and then you can go and grab that. And there's all kinds of goodies in there, supplies. See, we got islands off in the distance here. I thought we might go check. Now, the game is coordinate-based, which means you are gonna have to use a compass and the sextant now. If you look down here, let's see. Right here, our sextant. So when we hit that, that'll tell us exactly where we are according to the stars of the moon. We're 28 west, 31 south. And then you have, of course, your compass. And the compass will tell you how and where to go. It'll give you an idea to point you, you know, in general, in the direction you're going to want to go to. And besides the hand compass, you've got one. I've got uh, crafted this one here. It doesn't come with a ship. So... And one of the cool things about this is you can drop, or wherever you decide to slam into an island, because that's kind of what you do, you really don't really land. But as you go into an island, you can take and deposit your ship, basically pick it up and drop it anywhere else you want. But it does sit in place until you do so. So if you are playing multiplayer, you want to keep that in mind. Oh, now, if there's enough of them, they go and jack it. That in mind. But at the same time, it's all good. All right. Now, depending on the safe, or uh, chest I should say, you will either need a bronze key or a silver key. Some, who do we get here? We get uh, Swabby's tunic. Albano deer pelt that's uh, used that for weapons and armor. Let's see. 
Parts don't arrow. Flint. Use that to make arrows. Oh, we're going to pick that up. As I was saying earlier. Yes. All right. So now we've got a cannon to put on our ship. Oh, so many goodies. Now, normally there is a pirate captain floating around. So, if we kill enough of these guys, at some point they'll show up. <coughs> or we have to find them. Oh, hello there. <coughs> so, one of the easier ways to find pirates is when you're sailing, always look for. Oh, boy, that's it. Fire's burning on the islands, because that's one of two things. That's either a friend or foe, but it is something, because there are plenty of islands that don't have a whole lot of anything going on. And if you're real sneaky, you do heal by rest. So if you are low on potions, kill a pirate, run back, heal. And keep doing so until you clear all of them. Ha ha, here's the other point of the village, I assume. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. I guess I'm just gonna pull all of them. Oh man. Well, this is a great way to do combat. Oh, I see another cannon. Oh, hello, cartographer. Now, you want to kill this guy especially. Because they have uh, the sextant and a compass. Oh, okay, so he's got a compass, which is cool. Oh, hello. Now, once you kill enough of them, uh, the rest will be marked. Let's see, is there anything I can use? Not particularly. Now there are all kinds of books, and the books basically tell stories and give you an idea when it comes to how to do things. So, didn't I see another... Oh wow, yeah, there's a whole other village right down there. Alright, wow, we got a big one. Yeah, it's completely random what you run into. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, boys. A little bit for you. A little bit for you. Alright. Oh, and I see our little goal now over here is the chest. This is the one you want to look for because once we kill everybody it'll unlock but it also there are seven pirates that remain so we've got seven more to kill before that unlocks. Look at all. Ooh, what's this? It's a map to an island where a blacksmith lives. 27 west, 12 south. Oh, we might go there. Suave gloves. Another compass. Hardwood, which is another resource you want to collect. Truth or myth? An old book of history. All kinds of good stuff. Plant fibers. That's another one that you want to make sure you pick up. Down to the last few here. So 
So making it turn dark is a viable way to find that last guy to kill. Because, man, I don't know if I would have come all the way out here. Well, hello, Pirate Captain. You're the last <coughs> that I've got to kill. <coughs> Later. Let's see, and he gives sturdy boots worn by pirate captains. Bronze key, gold coin. We currently have guardian boots. Nine. As you can see, they're set bonuses. So luckily, there aren't any spiders on this island. Those are way creepy. They come out of nowhere and just bite you. They've got big ones, they've got small ones. It's not any fun. Ooh. That is, of course, for fishing. So, once you clear an island, of all the pirates, you get whatever's in the bonus chest. Jeez, okay, so we get four pirate tokens. And there's a sea collector that gives you uh, bonus armor and weapons. Hardstone, potion, ooh, what's this? Vigorous gloves, ooh, heavy but defensive. Nine armor, three weight. And currently I don't have anything that weighs on me, but nine armor, ooh, that's better than, oh, well, four armor but seven strength. Oh, decisions, decisions. All right, guys, wanted to show you guys real quick here. Merchants, this is one of the things you want to be looking for, just this little single hut on an island. Mm -hmm. And he's got Inkish's run speed, campfire, low, low absorption oil. Ooh. I'm gonna buy all those. Let's see. Fuse bomb. And you can use these to blow up the various statues that you'll come across. And after you blow up enough, you can make an, a pickaxe. And then you can mine them when you find them. Uh, let's see. A log of bomb. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that bomb recipes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you hit the question mark, uh, to my humble shop. Ooh. Oh, yes, gathering hands. Hmm. So I do not need anything from him. These are the statues that you can mine, but you have to have the right pick. You have to have one of these. And you make these by using the little fuse bombs that I just bought. It usually takes three of them to blow one up. Then you get the ancient metal. And you can make weapons. You can sell it to the blacksmith. See, we've got our ancient pick. And then we have an ancient bow, which is, just, I think, the strongest bow in the game. Breastplate, greaves gauntlets, flute, and ancient helm. There's all kinds of good stuff you can make, and you can buy really cool weapons from the blacksmith if you find enough of those, but the problem is there aren't a whole lot of those statues around. I know that's, these are the first that I've come across in a while, so that is something you want to keep in mind. Always be very picky with what you wind up purchasing and what you sell because you may, you may very well need it and there is no limit to what you can carry. Alrighty folks, well, I'd like to thank you for tuning in today. I'm just going to head on back the direction of a little bit easier stuff here so that we can get this onto the old live stream. That's right, Indie Context. So you want to like, favorite, and subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell notification so you know when I go live because I'm going to go live with this game and we'll go over everything. A lot better than these short little videos. So please, keep your heads down, your swords up. And I... And my speedy little ship, I'll see you again. A real damn soon.